Welcome to Amateur Redneck Workshop. Today's uh, video is showing how to use the SDM function on your DRO. Now that's something I haven't seen that used in any videos, uh, any place, and I've never used it, so we're going to learn together, I guess. But anyway, this SDM will let you store up to 200 data points in your uh, memory of your uh, of your DRO. And the good thing is, suppose you're drilling 20 holes, and you got got to get them all in the exact same spot, and you've got 20 pieces to do like that. So what you've got to do is look at your print every time. Oh, this next one says to go to such and such distance from there, and this much distance from there, and then you move over there and you drill it. And I've got to go now 220 thousandths this way, and 40 thousandths that way, and drill the next hole. Well, if you store them all as data points as you drill them, you put the put the next piece in your uh, vise. You go to data point one, data point two, and so on. And you just all you have to do when you select each one, run her down to zero, drill your holes, select the next data point, run your x axis and y axis down to zero, drill your hole. You know. So what we're going to do is we're just going to do a try to do a short and sweet demo of it here. All right, let's uh, let's just get on with it. Oh, I forgot to mention that uh, this test, your DRO needs to be measuring in absolute mode. Uh, the SDM reads the absolute mode when you push the enter button, and it knows that you want zero zero to be at say one inch uh, two hundred thousandths on the X. And, and two inches three hundred thousandths on the Y when it gets to that spot. You're entering zero zero but in the memory it knows where that absolute location is but it doesn't know where the incremental location is okay now then let's really get on with it alright let's suppose that we're drilling holes that we want to repeat on say twenty or thirty pieces or something so right now I'm at zero zero here on the table and I already drilled the holes so that I can have something just to go by to save time. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to SDM right there. We're going to go to SDM1 and we're going to enter the one for that SDM and push enter. Okay. That we're at now we're at SDM1. So while we're there We'll push X0, Y0, enter. Alright, that sets this as where we're starting. And we'll go back to, uh, let's turn it uh, SDM off. Go back to absolute. And we're going to move down a little bit here. So we get to this spot right there. Alright. Now we're going to set the next data point. SDM 2 we go X0 Y0 all right now we'll go back to incremental I mean absolute go to the next one when we get to this next hole right there so we will make this SDM number three go to three X0, enter, Y0, enter, back to absolute. Now we're going to go over sideways a ways. So we can't stay on X0 forever. Over here. And that's close enough to suit me, I guess. That we're on that hole. And set uh, SDM number four. All right, we'll go X0. Y zero back to absolute. Okay. Now then, we're going to come along here, and I'm nowhere near any of this stuff where it ought to be. So we'll just decide we want to drill data point number one. So we go to SDM one. All right. So to get to one, I've got to zero out the the Y. And just a little past it as usual. And we'll have to zero out the X. 
Going the wrong way as usual. Yeah, once we get the X zeroed. All right, so we drill our hole here. Whoop. And we say we want to go to SDM2. All right, so I've got to move the Y until it zeroes out. All right. That's just give or take zero. Dang it. All right. All right, so we drill the hole here. We want to move on to data point three. All right, so now I've got to zero the Y axis all over again. And I went past it there. All right, we drill our hole number three here. Now we want to do hole number four. And we can see we've got to move the X axis now until we get to four. That's basically zero. And there we are, we're ready to drill number four. So we repeated the pattern by the data point. We could take this point out, put another piece in there, and drill the same holes over and over again, doing this exact same thing. Now there's one thing that uh, kind of threw me for a little bit, was how to zero out the SDMs, how to erase them when you've got them there. And... Uh, We'll do that here in just a second. We go to absolute. Get all the way here to absolute on the zero where we started. Not that it's that important. We, we could be anywhere. We'll just stop there. And say I want to get rid of SDM number one. You go in here. I push X. And enter. And I should get an X zero. Oh, I'm sorry. X. 0, 0.0 0. Y I think just pushing the decimal point should clear out yeah that clears out Y so there we are that's that's cleaned up we go to data point 3 we can put X dot enter Y dot enter that got rid of that data point you do that right on through getting rid of all of them and you can start all over again and that's how you uh, how you can use data points on uh, on the mill. I think that's a very handy feature, and especially if you've got 10 or 15 holes laid out there and you're drilling and you're making 20 pieces like that, it'd sure be a lot easier than having to come over and X them out every time and so on, reading it off the print. You don't have to read the print; just take it to zero on each one of those, and you're done. All right, so let's see what Bubba or Oli or somebody's doing. So this, this man and woman are driving down the road, each in a opposite uh, road, and they smash into each other to red light. Kaboom, you know, teeth, hair, and eyeballs all over the road kind of thing. Real mess. So they get out of their cars, and she walks up to the guy, she says, Are you hurt? And he says, No. He says, You hurt? She says, No, I'm not. She says, This, this must be a sign from God that we're supposed to live in peace and get along with each other and all this sort of thing forever. Yeah, I says, yeah, he says, you're right, it must be. She says, in fact, she says, I think we ought to celebrate our, our good fortune. She went back to her car and she pulled out this fifth of scotch and come back. She says, here, take a swig of this and it'll make you feel a lot better. So he, he chugged down a bunch of it, handed her, she put the cap back on, dropped it in her purse. And he says, well, aren't you going to have any? No, she says, I think I'll just wait for the police. Well, that's all, folks. Uh, Y'all try to subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Leave a comment if you got something to say. And above all, remember, keep on keeping on. Bye now.